If you want better relationships in 2022, you have to put in the work on yourself first. That is the lesson I learned by talking to life coach and relationship expert, Brian Haddon. You have a ton of great tips for people, starting with accessing maybe your higher self. What do you mean by that and how do we do it? Uh, accessing the higher self is such an important thing to do and it's not something we usually put value on. And here's here's why it's important because there's part, so many aspects of who we are. We have an ego, we have a subconscious mind, we have uh, the conscious mind, we have all these parts that are in play. And when we can try to put importance on the part of us that is divine, the part of us that is all knowing, the part of us that moves through love, that's gonna really dictate the quality of our life. Mm -hmm. But is there parts in play with, like, with your subconscious mind that impacts your relationship, maybe your love life too, that you don't even realize you're doing? 95% of our life is run by the subconscious mind. So that's a little daunting. <laughs> uh, yeah. But what that means is that it's just calling in what it knows, what's familiar. It's from conditioning and patterning, mostly from our childhood, but it's where we find compulsions happen. So we think we have a type in a relationship, but it's really that our subconscious is recognizing another person who has qualities and habits and patterning that is familiar to us. But but I did want to touch back on accessing the higher self if, for a moment, if we will, because we can do that through breath work. It's very simple. It sounds very lofty. It sounds like very unattainable, but it's really through dropping into stillness within yourself. That can be meditation, breath work, tapping techniques, journaling. So there's lots of ways to do it. Um, and from that place, it's easy to forgive. Right when we're in alignment with ourselves, it's easier to find that forgiveness for someone that you might have been holding out and saying, "I'm never ever going to forgive them." Right, so it's um, when we do that consistently, it creates more space within us to allow new ways of seeing things, new perspectives. When you say consistently, is this something we should be doing every day, like practicing regularly? I think it's a great way to start your new year. I can't think of a better way because when we are in a better relationship with ourselves. It's funny how all relationships around us get better. Mm, yeah. Does it also help us control that subconscious mind? Because sometimes I think we go on autopilot and we're not actually responding how we want to, just how we automatically do. That's right. And I think what we want to do is not always try to override the subconscious. We have to work together with it. So we notice, oh, this is a patterning. Look at my habitual thinking again and again. I'm doing and saying the same thing. And then bringing that awareness to that is how we can start to work with our subconscious mind. So it feels less like you're being hijacked and more like you're in cooperation with an aspect of yourself. Oh my gosh. I'm laughing and crying at that because I do feel like my emotions just go right now. It's like an instant reaction and, oh, I have no control over it. Right. Well, there's something really beautiful about that too, to be connected to your feelings because so many of us are on the opposite side. It can be numb or cannot feel things or cannot allow ourselves the gift of our emotions. And I don't think we want to try to like put them in a box or make it look good or do time. We're kind of over that now. Really, we want to just have our feelings move through them, acknowledge them, let them move through us. And, you know, I mean, a trigger is something totally different where we feel like something is happening outside of our control. And that that's how the subconscious kind of looks to people. But um, feeling our feelings is beautiful. And you're a new mom, so what could be better? You're in the center of the heart at this time, right? Now, if you are looking to improve or maybe find a romantic relationship this year, she recommends first getting clear on what it is that you want by focusing on the feeling you want to have in a partnership and then know that you are worthy of love and remind yourself of it.